Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video, I'm not really sure what this is going to turn into necessarily. This is sort of a going through my boxes of nail polish and trying to do a couple of things. Sort them out as well as possibly pull some things that I might not be wanting to wear anymore to de-stash, but also I wanted to do a my collection of enchanted nail polish and I cannot find about six of them so I'm trying to go through these and pull the enchanted polishes as well as sort out the polishes by brand into their respective areas of my room at the moment. Um, that organization video is a long time coming because the plans keep on changing and <laughs> unfortunately right now the workspace that I'm working on is a bit cluttered. The drawer units that I have below them are not sturdy enough to hold a bunch of nail polish so they are unfortunately not very usable for what I intended them for. So I do have Helmers in the works. I'm clearing out my craft room so hopefully here soon and by soon, I mean probably in the next couple of months because I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, I will be putting together an organization video of my collection, hopefully. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and go through this big box that I have. They are shallow. They're only about like an inch and a half to two inches tall. But as you can see, they are positively overflowing. These boxes initially started by being organized by color. And then over the few seasonal racks that I've done since moving the nail polish into this room, the polishes that I was done with didn't really get put back into their respective locations. They got dumped into the boxes down at my feet. So this is one of them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through this. I'm not really going to go over each polish as I pull them out of the box because that would take way too long. But I will talk about maybe just a few polishes here and there as I come up with them. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to start by pulling out some of my Never Enough polishes as I find them. Let's see, these ones I do have a little tray for now, at least for the time being. I only see the one for the time being, so that one is going to be Killer Tofu, and that's going over here. I do have yet to wear that one, but it was on one of my nail polish racks. Looks like I've got a bunch of OPI in here. Pull those out to set aside. That is not an uh, Orly. That is a China Glaze, but we'll put that aside anyways. I seem to have a lot of those up top as well. There's an OPI. Whoopsie. All right. So that is a handful of OPIs. All right, it looks like I've got a couple of indies on top as well. I've got a KB Shimmer, which I also have set aside in a section of my shelving over here. I've got a few, I think I saw another Linby Designs. Yeah, I've got a few of those here. Ooh, and Polish for Days. I do have a section for those as well. They are one of my favorite brands, so I have them separated out all on their own. We'll go set these aside. All right, I've got one Schlee and one from Indie by Patty Lopez. I do have my Brazilian brands set aside in their own tray at the moment. So I should be able to set this in there. And then I've got one from Lumen and Colores de Carol. And what is this? Oh, I've got one of my Femme Fatales. I do have their own section as well, but it is in one of the drawers that is sagging at the moment. So I've been trying not to put any more polish in there. I don't want them to actually collapse and cause a huge mess. All right, I also got a whole lot of Zoyas out here. Let's see, now I saw more, there we go. Zoyas, and there, there's another one. And Essies, I'll put those aside as well. Let's see. Found another OPI. Ooh, and a pretty beautiful Unlimited. I do also have them currently on one of my nail polish racks to sort of get them a little bit more organized. So I will pull that one. And Night Owl Lacquer. Night Owl Lacquer I also have set aside 
on one of my shelves. Where are those? All right, and then these are the Essies that I've pulled out so far. I do, I think I have them in a drawer, but again, the drawers are really saggy right now and I don't want them to collapse on themselves. So for the time being, I'm just gonna set the Essies aside. All right, what else do we've got? We have some toppers. These were ones that I was playing around with adding on my winter rack. And I don't think I ever did come back and actually do a topper video for my winter rack because I got way too carried away. But let's see, those are two from Dollish Polish. And then I've also got one from Fancy Gloss. I do have a section set aside for them. And then my another China Glaze and another OPI. Looks like oh, I've got one of my, whoops, I've got a Berry M and a L'Oreal. I know I had my Berry M's set aside. I might have to come back and do a collection video of those. I don't have a lot. They are, um, I think, a, a UK brand or, yeah, from London. So they are harder to find here in the States, but I did find some on a website that sold them to the US. So I do have about a handful of them as well as I think at least one or two that I've found through D stashes. I've got a Quixotic, which I also have set aside in their own section and pretty beautiful unlimited. Oh, and wildflower lacquer. I definitely have them set aside in their own section as well. And I see another fancy gloss. All right, so I'm putting those away. I did find a stash of miscellaneous polishes that I had found through D stashes and miscellaneous trips to, oh goodness, probably Target or Walmart that I have not hauled yet. I'll have to do that eventually. Uh, let's see, ooh, another DRK. I do have those set aside with the other brands that come from Brazil or, I could be mistaken on that, but I th I'm thinking Brazil. Let me know if I'm off on that. Uh, I've got one of my ILNPs, ooh, and another Zoya can set that one aside. I've got a China Glaze and a Sinful Colors. All right, I've got a Color Club, a Live Love Polish. I think I saw another one here. I do have these lined up somewhere on their own as well. I've got one from Vapid. Pacifica, this is actually one of my newer hauls. You've probably seen that one in one of my haul videos from Marshalls. Got a Bluebird lacquer. I still have yet to wear this one, but this one is Centaur of Attention from Rewind. This was a super popular color. It is a red, which is probably why I haven't been brave enough to pull it out. Reds, especially attention grabbing reds, are a bit too... <sighs> Loud's not quite the right word. Um, brave. Let's just go with brave. They're a little brave for me, which is strange coming from a person who wears bright purple on their nails or Skittles, but I don't know why red still intimidates me sometimes. <laughs> but I do really want to wear this one. I think this is really gorgeous. I've also got one from Zombie Claw. I think this is another color club. Ooh, another Femme Fatale. Ooh, actually, one of my own prototypes ended up in here. I think this was one that I had on my winter rack. This is prototype number seven. Just a whole lot of different shimmers going on. Oh, and I've got another KB shimmer. I do have those set aside in their own rack, if I haven't said that already. This one is Mirror Mirror in the Stall from PPU. All right, we've got a Kiss Gel. This is actually a really good brand that I've been finding or had found at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them in a long time, and when I have seen them, they are unnamed. The ones that I added to my collection did have names, and I'm sort of a stickler for that. It's sort of a pet peeve of mine when a nail polish doesn't have a name, so I haven't been buying them again when I've seen them, but if you know of somewhere else that has them with their names, let me know. Uh, let's see, we've also got an LA Colors, one from Pure Ice that I got in a D stash, and a Supernatural Lacquer. That one is Hydrosphere, and that one came out in a small business Saturday from 2018. Oh my goodness. All right, we've got another Live Love Polish. This, I think, was on my winter rack. We've got a Rogue Lacquer. I have them set aside in their own little section as well. A Fair Maiden, I think. 
actually I'm not sure if they are one that I have set aside just yet, but I have been running into them in my purple nail polishes that I've been going through to try to find those enchanted nail polish. So we might set those aside in their own little section as well. Ooh, another one from Rogue. That one is from the Ashes We Rise. I still have yet to wear this one, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. Got one from Cuccio. This one is London Underground. I love colors like this. And actually the reason why I started trying to find colors like this was actually because of a color that might be here or it might not, <laughs> but it's, it's very similar to this. It's that deep, um, blurpily indigo color that, ah, uh, before I wore that, I really wasn't sure if it was very me because it seemed very hardcore and punk rock and I'm <laughs> not. Um, I'm a variety of things uh, all mixed together, but in any case, uh, once I wore that, I was really hooked on this uh, type of color. So this owes its existence in my collection to that color if I can ever find it. What? All right, it looks like I've got a wildflower and an ethereal and a Great Lakes lacquer. I do have those set aside over here on my desktop. And Wildflower has its own space, as does Ethereal. We've got an Illyrian, a Polish, another Polish. Polish also has its own section. An Enchanted, huzzah, we found one. <laughs> After going through the majority of the box, I finally found one of the Enchanted Polishes. Okay, so that means that I have now found 13 of my enchanted nail polishes, which means I should have about seven more to go. So this one was from April 2015. It's a really pretty shimmer and holographic, I think like a white, a white or very light gray. All right, we're finally getting down to seeing the bottom of the box. <laughs> Let's see, we've got another Great Lakes lacquer. Like I said, I do have this brand set aside on my desktop over here. This one is Throne of Glass. See, we've got another pretty beautiful unlimited. I do have those set aside, like I've said. Um, who else? Another supernatural lacquer. I don't think I have them set aside in their own section just yet, but I did pull one of, of them out already, so I'll set that with this one. We've got a polished for days. They're also one of my favorite brands, a Baroness X. I need to pull these and set them all together. Um, currently I think they're sort of all over the place, but that is a gorgeous one. I think this one might be one of their, yep, it's one of their magnetics. This one is Celestial Warrior. Ooh. And we've got one from Glisten and Glow. Ooh, another Rogue Lacquer. Another Emily Damali. I know I have them set aside in their own section. I have a ton of them and they have their own rack. All right, we've got more Illyrians, I think. Yeah, Illyrian. Ooh, another Night Owl lacquer. And a 77 nail lacquer. I don't think I have these set aside just yet, but we'll go ahead and start a little pile. And we've got one from J Ring. Another Enchanted, yay! <laughs> yay! All right, this one is Prism of Darkness. Ooh, all right. We're making progress. I like it. All right, another from Lacaster. We've got one from Potion Polish. Another Quixotic. I know I've got those set aside. And another from Ever After. And Glam Polish. All right, we'll put those guys away. We've got an Ethereal. Ooh, and a Crow's Toes. I still have yet to wear this. This one is orange blooded. I definitely have my crow's toes attempting to be in their own little section, although I have yet to pull all of them from my different boxes, but that is one of them. What, what Lola? What you want, pumpkin? What? Oh, I know, I hear you, honey. Yes, I hear you, sweetheart. How do you think you want? Silly goose? He thinks you're being a silly goose. Yes, silly goose. Yes, I see you. Yes. Yes, I see you. 
Yes, I see you. Willa wants to participate. <laughs> We've got one from Blush Lacquer. This is a really interesting color that I have yet to wear. That is Positronic Brain. We've got one from Anchor and Heart. Another Rogue Lacquer. Another Quixotic. Another Quixotic. And a Fair Maiden. All right, then we've got uh, one from Lacquered Up. One from 1850. Another OPI. Let's go ahead and pull some more OPIs and China Glazes. The OPI is My Private Jet, and the Sesame Street <laughs> China Glaze is Grover It. All right, we've got, ooh, we've got another Illyrian. That's another brand that I need to come back and do a, like, my collection overview. Another from Polished for Days. That one is a cake eye. Uh, another stunner of a color. We have one from C&D Vinylux. A Glam Polish, another favorite brand. And this one is from Octopus Party. I don't know if they make polish anymore. I think this one I found in a D-stash. This is I Drink and I Know Things. So I'm pretty sure that is a uh, Game of Thrones collection or at least polish because I've heard that quote before. But if you know if they make polish still or haven't, let me know down below. I don't know that I have many other than this polish from that brand. We've got an A England and another Rogue. That one is Here We Go Again. We have one from Glitter Days. This is actually a brand I've been meaning to look into more frequently. I have some really awesome polishes from them that I've got through D stashes, but I've never actually bought from them directly. So this one is Maleficent. And just look at that really unique polish. I don't even know if the base is coming through. Yeah, there we go. It is this beautifully deep green full of shimmer. And I love the bottles. Can we just talk about that for a sec? That's adorable. <laughs> All right, we've got one from Blackheart Beauty. I'm hoping that these guys are going to come back. I don't know if it's the same in your area, but in my malls, at least the one that I've tried here in Washington, uh, they don't have nail polish at their Hot Topics anymore, and they said that they were bringing them back, but I don't know if that means that they're bringing back Blackheart Beauty or if they are just redoing the entire nail polish line at those stores. If you know anything about that, also let me know. But that one was their Dark Purple Galaxy. We've got another Femme Fatale, and pardon the fuzz, I mean, this box has been sitting there for a while. <laughs> this one is Stars of Heaven Falling. We've got, oh, this one is Frenzy Polish. This is another brand that is no longer around. I, in fact, didn't really even discover them until I saw them in D-stashes, but they are really cute polishes. I think this one, Twinkle Twinkle Little Fox, was a Facebook custom, but I did get a bunch of their polishes that were from their Hunger Games collection, I believe, and they're really, really beautiful polishes. Meow. Meow. Yes, I see one. Ooh, we've got another potion polish. This one is Autumn Drive. We've got another one from Polish, and another one from Native War Paints. And a cupcake polish. Ooh, glitter bomb tastic. That one is believe. Yes, I hear you. Silly, silly muffin. We have one from Lemming Lacquer. This one is Ghosts of the Vault. Oh wow, taking it way back. I'm pretty sure this one came out in the very first polished pickup that I ever purchased from, which was Crystals and Gemstones. We've got another rogue lacquer. And one from Moonshine Manny. And an Emily Damali. And another rogue lacquer. This one is God of Mischief from PPU. All right, we are almost done with this first box. We've got one from Graceful Lacquer. Ooh, this one is Magic of Hogwarts. I have yet to wear this one as well, but I just had to get it. It is such a beautiful, shifty glitter polish. Gorgeous. We've got ooh, another from Fair Maiden. This, I think, is also from PPU called the Puppet Master. We've got a pretty beautiful Unlimited. And, oh, no, I take it back. I have a second octopus party. <laughs> this one is The Pleasure Principle. 
We've got one from Glam Polish, another from Pretty Beautiful Unlimited, and another from Polish, a Polished for Days. This one is Sienna. And a tonic. Ooh, I know I have them on their own rack. All right, we've got one from Jen and Berries. This one is I'll See You in Somerset. This was a beautiful shifty blue that came out, I believe, in the Polished Gamers box. We've got one from Garden Path Lacquer. I definitely have them in their own little section on one of my shelves. MLF Lacquer. This one is Pipe Vine Swallowtail. I need to pull them out into their own little section. I don't have too, too many, but they are really gorgeous polishes, the ones that I do have. Ooh, we've got another Blackheart Beauty. This one is Green AB Iridescent. I wish they named their polishes better, but <laughs> they just go with descriptions. Um, one from Arcane Lacquer. That's Forget Me Not. Another Glam Polish. This one is Why Couldn't It Be Follow the Butterflies. Such a pretty polish. And another Rogue Lacquer. This one is Sucka for Hue. <laughs> and a pretty beautiful Unlimited. All right, just a few more to go. We've got one from Quixotic. Ooh, this one is Flying Past the Stars. This was a really popular one when it came out in Polish Pickup 2019 in November. We've got one from Chirality. This one is the Lincoln Letter. I think this one I got in one of my mystery boxes. One from Lemming Lacquer. Never go up against a woman with eight hands. My goodness. And an Ethereal. That one is Heavenly. And last but not least in our first box that we're going through is from the Dawn Diva. And this one is Mojo. Jojo eats ho-hos. <laughs> I think that one might be a UP polish. Well, there you have it. That was one box of my horribly unorganized nail polish. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed going through the nail polish and getting sort of a sneak peek about what's in my nail polish collection. Hopefully you saw some that may have taken you back, like some of these brands like Frenzy and Octopus Party. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little organized with me slash nail polish tour thing. <laughs> I'm not really even sure what to call it, but let me know down below if you want to see more of these. I definitely have more boxes I can go through to sort of a miniature organize with me. Um, but in any case, thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos as I post them. And I'll see you in that next one.